kia ora koutou, ko Emily toku ingwa, he kaiako whare tonga a hau, no mai ki toku whare. Hi everyone, my name's Emily, I'm an educator at the Otago Museum. Welcome to my house. Today I'm going to show you a really cool craft that you and your whānau can do at home, um, and it's printable off the website. So here's the craft. We've got four really cool canopic jars. So canopic jars were used by ancient Egyptians. Um, the ancient Egyptians believed that when people passed away, their bodies needed to be preserved or mummified um, enable, to enable that person to use their body in the afterlife. And sometimes canopic jars were used as part of the mummification process. So we've got four different gods represented on the four different canopic jars and each god um, looked after a different organ so that the person who passed away can use that organ again in the afterlife. So I'll show you each one. Here we have Duamutef, the jackal-headed god. His job was to protect the person's stomach. We have Kribsenuef, the falcon-headed god. He protected the intestines. We have Harpy, the monkey-headed god. He protected the lungs. And we have Imseti, human-headed god, who protected the liver. Now these four gods are the four sons of Horus, and Horus was the son of Isis and Osiris, who you've probably heard of. Now you might be wondering, what happened to the person's brain and heart? As we know they're pretty important organs as well. Well, the Egyptians didn't actually think the brain was very useful and didn't really have an important purpose. So they took it out and they chucked it away. One of the ways they took it out was they put tools up the person's nose and then kind of liquefied it and then it came back out the nose and then they just got rid of it. The heart, however, was really important. It was so important that it actually got usually not all the time, but usually got left inside the body. And that was so it was there for Anubis, the god of the afterlife, to weigh it against the feather of truth. So if the heart was heavier than the feather of truth, that unfortunately meant the person did a lot of bad deeds when they were alive, and Anubis would take the heart and he would throw it to the crocodile god Amit, who would gobble it up. If the heart was lighter, that was good. The person did lots of good deeds. So he would give the heart back and the person could go see Osiris in the afterlife. Now if you want to learn more about ancient Egypt or canopic jars or the mummification process, make sure you and your whānau plan a trip to the Otago Museum. We've got a really cool Egyptian room in the People of the World Gallery. We've got four real canopic jars on display. Plus, of course, we've got our real 2,300-year-old mummy on display. Um, well, that's it from me. I hope you enjoy the craft. Uh, ka kite anō.